We stay a tad longer on issues concerning education and teacher unions are calling on the government to build more public schools to enable every child to have access to quality education. This was contained in a report launched on overcrowded urban classrooms and its effects on teaching and learning. From the report, the unions are against the privatization and commercialization of education. The Ministry of Education reports a pupil-to-teacher ratio of one teacher to 26 pupils at the basic level and one teacher to 12 pupils at the junior high level. The report says in many urban municipalities, there is no significant correlation between the data and class sizes and indicates that overcrowding is high in many schools affecting quality teaching and learning and access to education. About 4,000 schools that have primary, they are primary schools, but they do not have junior high schools. So in that case, what it means is that after primary education, because you cannot walk the, the distance to the nearest junior high, public junior high school, you have to drop out. The General Secretary of National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, Mr. Michael Ayuraboya, suggested that barriers to accessing education must be removed to ensure quality. We want to resist privatization in all forms in our education. The Executive Director of Africa Education Watch, Mr. Kofi Asari, spoke on Ghana's high urban class sizes and infrastructural financing approaches. If the dimension of population increase is more tilted towards low income NS or no income NS moving to urban areas, providing schools, then you are privatizing education access. A former GES Director General, Mr. Charles Ahetochega, said government must increase investment in public basic education with a major focus on infrastructure. Players in the education sector recommend that the Ministry of Education prioritizes infrastructure at the basic level of education in its proposals for get fund allocation and also construct new classroom blocks to reduce the large class sizes in the country's urban public schools. For GBC News, Yaira Lawe reporting.